Okay, let's go. How many episodes do we have? Three, four, five. Oh, we have five episodes only. I mean, yeah, well, I guess this this episode already takes six hours. For so five episodes is thirty hours, all right? Probably, or even longer. Okay, let's go for the ep episode two: the adventure of the unbreakable backlit. and I waited with bated breath. In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Shun sprang into action, lashing furiously with his hand in the point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter, and the room slowly came into view. Jones was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words. The speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Half January. I've been on the board of Steamship Boria. Shit. Okay. Nice. So then, let us unravel this mystery. Oh shit. And discover what events lead to this curse. I'm dead? Do tell me. Is that me? Is that my body then? Was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, yeah. this would appear to be a not new mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the panel. Hmm. And almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. Rough and work. Damn, he's so fast. What the fuck? And the letters are well formed, suggesting he was Corpus Mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. What the hell is that? What the hell? This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident. Damn, there's another guy. What happened here? What's happening? Oh. Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Da, da, no one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait. Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now. I reveal the killer to you. <laughs> the fuck? That was fast. <laughs> Don't be absurd. This is murder. And it can be locked from inside. It came in love from his head. That mystery is paper thin. thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consulting detective. The only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. What <laughs> Sholmes? I presume you must have heard of me. To change the first slider of the name, the fuck? <laughs> the first slider of the name. Oh, my head is troubling. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air. This is my room, right? Yeah. What's happening? Wait. I... I can't move. Oh, I'm the- oh my god, it's me again? I'm guilty again? God damn it, why did this happen to you, man? Why the fuck- Oh, what the- Why am I in handcuffs? Hmm? So, you awake? You wake up now? Hmm? We have to drag you out of the wardrobe. 
I do not believe how you could not wake up to a cold, true cold-blooded man. Okay, I could save if I want to. All right. Okay. You. Ha. Huh. You found me then. Uh, we found you, and now you pay, criminal. How long are you hiding in that tiny wardrobe? Hmm? Uh, sorry. Now you have been found. It is time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is. Hmm? No, no. I'm tell. I will tell you everything. There's only one thing I did like to know from you. Isn't that? Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? What the hell? <laughs> what? Did I take his life? Probably it is uh, Susato. You know, okay, Miss Susato. Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Um, where where is it? Where is Kazuma? Oh, we are with Kazuma. He's dead. No, don't tell me Kazuma is dead. Yeah, Susato. Ah, you pretend you do not know? You are a wolf in sh the sheep's pelt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. What? Nani? <laughs> Kazuma-sama. Was Kazuma-sama's body was discovered not long ago? Oh, shit. It was he who died, not me. And now God guilty again. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Can we just do a case that I'm not the fucking person <laughs> in, in chains? <laughs> in chains at least. Yeah. In this very cabin, there was bottled shot from the inside. Is his body? Please, do not try to tell us you are doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Are the mask dead? But he can't be. And this handcuff. Sorry, you don't think I... I have to know. Why did you take Kazuma-sama's life? Answer me, please. No. I didn't. <laughs> no! <laughs> Kazuma. It was just two short weeks ago. You're serious about this. Wouldn't we get into trouble? Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you become to England with me to study? It was really something else when they bought your luggage in here earlier though. The way that Russian crewman just tossed your traveling case onto the floor. I thought I was going to die. Yes, I still can't believe that. I still can't quite believe that. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. <laughs> you must be even less of a man than you look. Hey, what the fuck? God damn it. Honestly, I think I'd be I did broken every bone in my body. Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great Britain. <laughs> but if you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. Um, I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. They are a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant Moki... Mi Miko Taba, you mean? From your close friend, more to the point. Surely we could confide, confide her in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she did give me away. No, but if she knew what we have done, it would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about this. Hmm, I suppose so. Anyway, it's about the time that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I should hide in the... cram wardrobe then. I know it's crime, but you better get in there. I think it won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be, be, it'll be a breeze. Yes. But what if the stewards decided to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in it for it. Stop worrying. I'll tell you what. 
Why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? What? Then I can stick it over to the wardrobe doors once you're inside. I don't know. Why did we decide to go with you actually? <laughs> What's the reason for me to go with you again? Kazuma, what the fuck? I'm very beaten, what the fuck am I here for? We have only been at the sea here for about 15 days. How can this have happened? We were supposed to be going on this adventure to England together. Well, we leave you at this at the next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Murderer? No, I'm not a murderer. Duh, you say that before. You say you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away at on this ship, but murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. Um, Susato-san? Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask of you too. Um, those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. <laughs> this nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find out what really happened. Katuma's death. He he's really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. This handcuff. They think I did it? They think I'm Kazuma's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin via a porthole window and the bolt on the door can be operated from the outside. In other words, after the crime, crime the culprit couldn't could have escaped these four walls. What? Or to put it another way, the culprit could only have been somebody inside this cabin. Or do you have some other explanations? I mean, he could come from here, I guess. This is a way in. He doesn't have to go here. There is a way in. Oh, you guys couldn't see it actually. Sorry. I I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm saying. This place, this place. They could come in from here. I'm still going to deny the charge, even despite the circumstances. Let's gonna put it up again. Please, Susato san, you have to tell me. The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how they how he died? The ship's doctor is examining the body, but of course he has no post-mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we should learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. So presumably that means there were no obvious external sight of injury then. That's true, yes. About the incidents. Can anyone tell me what exactly happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anybody... Anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably there's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please. Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Well, yes, I was, but... I'm innocent, he would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. Okay. I was waiting outside his cabin as I have every day so far on this vo vo voyage but this morning he did not come i could sense that he wouldn't does that mean he was already dead when Sasu susato san arrived at his cabin door i wonder i knocked but there was no reply then i start to become worried so i went to find a member of the crew the crewman forced the cabin door open and when we managed to get inside. He's dead. There was Kazuma-san's collapse on the floor. And the white tape there now shows exactly where he was found, I suppose. I have no idea anything that have happened. I, I must have been asleep in the well drop somehow. I wish it wasn't the case, but 
that was uh, that's that's just very hard to believe it's all very hard to believe for me too trust me now i have told you everything i that i know so it's my turn to ask you a question yes all right um my hair is feeling so heavy it's still throbbing like anything okay so away why are you even on board this ship naruhodo san you said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm afraid that's the truth. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could you have occupied Kazuma's cabin for so long without him noticing? Oh, no, no, no. That would have been impossible, obviously. <laughs> yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. I actually asked? But why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. Yeah, I don't know, man. The fuck? I don't understand. Me neither. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. Why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why do go to such extreme length to smuggle me to green to England with you? It's a mission. It's a secret mission. It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that. But I didn't think you were so serious. You have the talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is at the spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can he? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, if you were to become a lawyer, then... Then what? Nothing. Forget it. Forget about it. Kazuma Sama is. He was always saying the same thing. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yes, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes then. It was darker than I ever seen it before. Um. To Sato san, I'm sorry that we kept it a secret from you. My stowing away. My, my stowing away on this ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma sama, I expect he was trying to protect me. To avoid me become guilty by association. That's, that's actually exactly right, yes. Worked perfect, in fact. Okay, last night. What about last night? If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in the in this cabin? Well, I was, I was sleeping. I was sleeping, Rinosuke. Oh, uh, no, no. no what her name again? <laughs> I was sleeping. <laughs> I don't remember. Susato, yeah, I was sleeping. <laughs> Kazuma brought me something to eat, just like he always did. And then I got myself in that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. <laughs> After that, I... Sleep? Yes, I sleep. Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> so deeply that you keep, didn't even stir when Kazuma-sama was killed? Um, well, yes. I know it sounds unbelievable, really, I do, but it's the truth. If only I did woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still troubling like anything. Really? Um, is something wrong? Uh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. So Sato-san, you have to believe me, I didn't do it. I, I really don't want to doubt you. But the trouble is, there is no one else who could possibly have done this. Um. Um. 
Kazuma, I don't understand why. Why did this have to happen? Uh, I can't take this. I need to search the room. Don't try to go anywhere. Oh, oh really? I, I want... I you're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I am sorry. My Kazuma was killed right under my nose here and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around? My hands tied while whoever did this walks free? No, I can't allow that to happen. Wow, well, do you propose- what do you propose to do then? Search for evidence? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how and why they did it. So I'm sorry. But you are going to have to excuse me. Oh, he just threw me? What the hell? I, the high here and just, just threw me shit. <laughs> I'm going to sleep again. God damn it. Couldn't you just do anything better? <laughs> I hit me on the neck or something like, ah, uh, and then I go to sleep or something. <laughs> what the? That was a Susato takedown. A Susato what? What martial art form is that? I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry? Prove it? Now I'm upside down, man. Yes, your innocence. I need evidence. But, but how am I supposed to... Have you forgotten already what you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in a court of law. Ah, I see. So you're expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get susato san to believe me. I will show her some evidence right away. That proves I'm not guilty of... This awful crime. I mean, I could show this because the the, the sticker is never not not even taken out. I couldn't stick it up back again. This is the paper seal I wrote for the wardrobe. I remember really working hard to make it, but I never forget how Kazuma reacted. Do you expect the Russian crew to be able to read that? He said. Still, I was sure people would get the idea even if they couldn't read it. So we use it anyway, and it worked. I don't know if the crew thought it was a creep. It was creepy or what? But no one opened the door. You can see the remnants of the glue we used to stick this over the wardrobe doors. Although it wasn't proper glue, of course we didn't have any of that with us. So I probably some rice into the into a paste to use instead of them. But to a stowaway like me, every single grain of rice represents precious rations. <laughs> That's why I spread it as thinly as I possibly could. I couldn't bear to waste any. Okay, I think this, this, this is evidence, right? This is a good evidence. Tell me. When I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the door? Oh, yes, it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Kazuma always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward or another crew member decided to look inside. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah. And I could if I got out and killed him, I couldn't really stick it back again. Yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe door before he opened them. But if I were truly the culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the drawer drawer and stuck this on the other outside of the door on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, I am I'm not the criminal. It's, it's impossible that I kill Kazuma. Yes, I'm not guilty. Well, even if you are brought hopelessly on the floor. I can see why Kazuma-sama Thought of thought so highly of you. Thank you, Susato-san. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me up? <laughs> well, in the light of the evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here, Alice. Nice, nice. That's what we need. We need evidence. Thank you. So you finally believe in me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. What? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you use some sort of conjuring tricks to put the sign back in positions. What does she think I am? A magician? 
For now, I suggest you investigate as truly as possible in here. I will do the same. Alright, let's get to work, Susato-san. Please, don't misunderstand me. Misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. Okay. I shall be watching you to make sure you do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. R right. <laughs> right. Well, anyway. I should make a start on investigating in here and examine everything I can. Zuma, I swear. I will avenge your death. Okay, let's examine. I want to look around. I can not look. But I investigate truly, but I can not find anything out of place. I look at the right. Yes, yes, yes. I want to examine this. Yes. Yes. That's a vent. It's a vent. I, I'm examining, I, examining a vent. Yeah. I think that's some kind of opening for a ventilator. A hole through which fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this ventilator, if there, if, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Yes, it could appear to the right. But if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps it's so that rain and spray that don't find their way in when the seas are rough? Or something like that? I suppose. Maybe that's it. Why is that opening? Oh dear, that wouldn't do. Oh, what's the matter? Susato-san. Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused I forgot to look around properly. Ah yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you as foolish as I as me in that regard, are you, Naruhodo-san? Why? Oh, I mean, I already... I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sure you carefully to look around using BNM. Okay, aren't you? Now, let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Okay, I already did that. Yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision has been rather small until now. Okay, let's check out other stuff. Okay. What about the ink? Investigate truly, but I can find it out of place. Okay, the ink, what's this? Did, did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Barbaro. Then I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Poor Kazuma Sama. No doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine. I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments. Was he? I'm sorry, partner. But I can't read your writing. <laughs> I don't think that's Japanese, Narohodo. What? Then then what's language? It. It. It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. Maybe it's Russian. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes. It carries a lot of memories for me. <laughs> I was locked in their memories. What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stole away from this vessel. I was brought on board inside that case. Ah, yes. I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which is inside. I should have realized the foreign crewman wouldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over. And then I was tossed on the floor in there. Oh dear. Being a story isn't as romantic as it sounds. <laughs> well, it was less painful than a Susato takedown. Like this. This is where dear Kazuma-sama would have sat whenever he was writing. London Diary. Oh Kazuma. He didn't even make it to his destination. It looks as though the last entry is incomplete. Which means, what? It was in the middle of writing it when the incidents happened? Let's see what it says. It could be a valuable clue. It showed me again? What? 
That's out of the question. What? I couldn't read a dead man diary? <laughs> Kazuma sama may have departed this world, but you must not read his private thought. But but what if it's something important, something irrelevant to the case? Yeah, man. All right, all right. I won't read it. Okay, fine. I guess. God damn it. Poor Kazuma sama. I don't like prying into people's personal matters either. But in this case. Isn't the need for clues more important? Yeah. What the fuck? Why is Shrooms there? Who's that? He wasn't there a minute ago. As far as I can tell, it looked like he might be an European. Oh. How did he... You notice the man too? Have you? I have no idea who he is or how he got in there, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. <laughs> Roda sama don't tell me... Do you really not know who that is? Um, well, no. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintance at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And he is, is he investigating Kazuma's desk or is he just playing around on it? I can tell. Well, in that case, we simply must talk to him. Am I just imagining it or does Susato-san look almost uncontrollably excited? By the way, I expect that you notice already, but just in case. If you press space on purple when they are in course air, you can converse with them. Alright then, I'll get that suspicious tall look looking gentleman in my sight and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do. I mean, uh, let's just talk to him, I guess, for now. Hey dude, what's up? What you busy, man? What, what, what the fuck you doing, man? <laughs> Excuse me. Do I have a moment? This is a critical point in my investigation. He's not gonna talk. Maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little bit... A little unfriendly. Yes. Perhaps that would be for the best. What the fuck? I'm, I thought you were busy. I hope you. What the fuck? This fucking guy. Um, what exactly were you doing on Kazuma's desk just now? I did that. Uh, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry. What do you see? It feels like he's looking right through me. Oh uh, yes, as everything is clear now. The train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions has. Crystallize. You have been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry? What? And now, while venturing towards foreign claims, you find yourself in a most troubling predicament. Oh, well, that's true, at least. But, but how? How the deuce did I know that? Perhaps it was really a m most elementary deduction. <laughs> Hardly worth explaining. Have you perhaps managed to deduct everything else? Anything else? But of course, a many, a great many things. There is no mystery, my dear madam. For example, you have fled your native land of Russia, being as you are a merciless revolutionary. What? You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake and now travel to England to blow up the crystal tower. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And when the preferred occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life too. What is my identity? Yes, I believe that summarized the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now. Nothing decisive. This. Uh, deceive these eyes. Sorry. Alright. Um, just to be clear, you are talking about me, aren't you? Certainly, I am. Do you see another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? I don't even see one person fits the bill. <laughs> so it's true. What? It was you who did it to Katsuma. What? What? I can't believe you now from Afghanistan. What the fuck? Why the fuck? <laughs> what the 
I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. <laughs> no, I'm stressed. And, and you're plotting a revolution too. What the fuck? In shameful behavior, Nar Naruto sama. Absolutely wicked. What the fuck? No, listen. There's no way I. I got troll again. What the fuck am I got troll again? Why the fuck did I got troll again? Now explain yourself. Tell me everything. This is ridiculous. How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forgive me. What the fuck? <laughs> What? <laughs> and as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that come into your head. About was I not right? While venturing towards Orange Queen, you do find yourself in the most troubling predicament, do you not? Oh yes, maybe. Ah, there you have it, you see. What do you make of that, hmm? Well, to be honest, nothing much, I guess. Your ship is en route to England and I'm in handcuff at the scene of a murder so I'm not really sure you could call it deduction it's more plain observation indeed an observation my dear boy is the basis of all deductions my method is found upon the observation of true or false you see I announce my finding with a brace brace certitude and more often than not I'm right <laughs> I don't think you have introduced yourself. Okay. Ah, uh, my apologies. How reminds of me? I'm none other than the greatest detective of century. Known to man and woman the world's over. The inimitable Herlock Shrooms. So, is really you? The actual Herlock Shrooms? The very same, the inimitable actor Hollow Shrooms. You really know this guy? Susato san. The most famous detective in the world? Naruto sama. Of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on then? <laughs> we must ask him what he did de deduce. We will have to work out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel unless? Uneasy about this. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, worse. Okay. Okay, I, I'm just gonna end the stream here. Because I gotta go, I have something else to do. So, okay, this is getting interesting. Holy shit, we got Sherlock, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes on the case now. <laughs> and we have to examine other stuff as well. So, I'm thinking we gotta end it, continue this on the other time. Probably tomorrow, see. I gotta see tomorrow whether I have time or not, to be honest. I'm. I'm gonna be busy today and tomorrow after this and tomorrow um probably I might just play on Sunday I guess but this is this is pretty funny this is pretty funny so I just gotta end it here see you guys on next stream goodbye everyone bye so all right so we're just gonna continue where we left off I would say we still are trying to get more clues okay currently we are trying to get more clues trying to Examine, get the fuck out of here, shrooms. I don't want to talk to you yet. So we are trying to get more clues, I remember. The book has fallen over on the shelf. Look, they have all toppled the same way. Okay, so and what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although he fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf it's clue time. Yes, it's blue clue. We're trying to find clue right now. Where's my dog? <laughs> There's no dog here, god damn it. A oh god of a sea. It's almost as if the shell water in rank, shaken and everything more down at once. I wonder if perhaps it was Kazuma sama doing his morning sword training, do you think? And then he 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 knocked over all of the book and stuff? I don't really think so, man. I seriously doubt it. Yeah, dumb. You dumb dumb. God damn it. Oh, oh, okay, her name is Susato. Okay, okay. Then perhaps. And perhaps. It was you. Um, it was me. In a fit of rage, I knocked over the book. Fuck the book. 
I just, it does, I just, ah, oh, I killed my best friend and I hit the book over. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Dave the diver is Dave. Dave the diver. That's the my love is sus. It's sus, Sato. Yes, it's sus. God damn it. <laughs> I wouldn't have bothered leaving the world drop just to mess up a few books and a statue. I wouldn't have bothered. Yeah, I wouldn't bother leaving the world drop just to mess up a few books and the statue. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Uh, why would I want to do that? <laughs> why would I want to do that? The fuck? Could the, could the way these things have been thrown about has anything to do with the case? I wonder. Maybe they're fighting, I guess. Maybe there's a, some struggle. There's a fight happening before before s s before Kazuma dead. Well, I will just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. Oh, you touch, you touch. Maybe something is evidence, man. What the fuck? What? You what? No. What? Why the fuck? Okay. I mean, yes. Didn't you learn from the last, last, last case we have? We don't touch the evidence. God damn it. Uh, Naruhodo is your name. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's actually, it is. The name of the character is called Naruhodo. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> God damn it. Why touching the evidence? We shouldn't touch the evidence. Why the hell? These are the rules of the passage of for travel about the SS Buyao. Buyao. It's essentially a list of requests from the capital, captain to all passengers on board. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabin. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabin. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Okay. But how did he has his sword with him then? Yeah, what? What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Hmm, okay, what do you think? What do you think? Are you more of a dangerous object or a pet? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I would prefer the dangerous object, I guess. What the fuck? Are you insulting me? The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I can't decide. Well, one thing for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. I was supposed to be with the other luggage, ain't it? The other stuff. How do I, I? I'm not too sure now. I kind of forgot actually. After a few days. What's this? What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing was, it appeared to have broken clean, broken clean in two. It looks like a bell. Okay, you guys couldn't see this. Wait, give me a second. Yeah, this is. You, you, I don't. I don't. Yeah, this is very hard to 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 change. You know. I think I just put myself here. Hopefully, this is better. I guess. Yeah, I I just gotta move myself if if they're showing something. This is the thing. Oh shit. Which. It looked like a broken glass. Why did you break the glass where it's so it, it looked like a bell. A glass and a bell. The glass is such a colorful, beautiful color. Look at that cute little Nessu fastener from a kimono outfit. I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around with him, would he? Yeah, it's, it looked like a bell or something that you, you know, it doesn't look like a cup. Yourself. So I don't know. And the mark beside it, what is it? I wonder. It has sort of a brick like cue. Yeah, I look Okay, I I okay, this is Okay. This <laughs> I just gotta put myself here. Alright, I just gotta put Because since they are showing it there, I just gotta put myself here. Alright. left even though i don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin okay okay just now what she said was the mark this this thing this mark on the beat just beside the 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 trinkling it looked like a different different color it was is what she say that's 
Kazuma's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is his soul. No one touches the soul. <laughs> right, Connor, do you know he's different? <laughs> really? Oh no, man. <laughs> Where's the different? What's the different, man? The hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I was always saying, mm. okay. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this trip. Okay. I suppose that shows just how important it was to him. And now he's gone and he's dead. But I'm not ready to let him his spirit go just yet. Okay. Da da da. Look kind of sad. Uh, she's dead. He's dead already. Get over it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh what's this? That's that's my that's my dinner from last night, a roasted chicken. Oh that was that was what I ate, okay. <laughs> nice. That's my dinner. Oh yeah. Difference is that you're in the record the cable wipes. Yeah. That was my dinner from last night, a roasted chicken, it was really tasty. Yes. Okay. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? Oh you have the roasted chicken as well? <laughs> Susato, yeah. But did you eat it on the floor? What the fuck? Am I a pet right now, dude? Man, what, what the fuck? Am I? A, yeah. What the fuck? I'm not a dog, man. What the hell? <laughs> I'm. It's on the table before. <laughs> Susato, son. I ate at the table, of course. <laughs> Which begs the question of when and how the pet ended on the floor. I think they, they, there's a fight happen, or there's a struggle at least. I would say. I would say there's a struggle for Kazuma. Maybe he got poisoned and guess he struggled a little bit. And they knocked everything over. But Kazuma did Kazuma Sama don't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Yeah. Hate the chick. Which mean all the more for me. <laughs> oh no, does does that mean I kill him just for the chicken, really? Oh Kazuma Sama spent his last night on this earth with an anti- Okay, at least, okay, at least, at least you didn't say anything too outrageous. Uh, spent his last night on this earth with an empty belly. Yeah, that's, I mean, I think he ate and then he brought food to me. That's probably it. It's just too horrible. Uh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscious and an achy, a achy stomach. Okay, or me it's not, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I think the murder is Yusuke Naruto. Yes, it's me. It's me all along. God damn it! I was actually playing the victim right now. <laughs> I'm acting like the victim. Every the second. This is the second case already, and it still is me. The crim. The criminal is still me. The fuck. The, the suspect is still me, not the criminal. I would say the suspect is still fucking me. I don't. I, I don't the game. The game. This is yes. It's a bell court contraption. I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talk about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cord like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to summon a servant. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's that purple thing. I think is the bell, and then it was supposed to be with that thing, with the the the, the, the bell cord. Or something, the, the 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 rock, and then it's to ring the server. I guess that's it. That sounds almost magical. But how did he flew so far away though? Dot 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 again. Shall we give it a little try? Yes. In the interest of culture research, obviously. <laughs> okay. Oh, it has a bell on that. Okay, I guess wrong then. I guess. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Where's the servant at? I suppose nobody comes for lowly Japanese people. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. It's just that everyone is busy, that's all. Okay, so the bell is still there. I couldn't see any bell here. So I thought this was broken here then. And then never mind then. I was wrong then. Um, okay, I just checked this cabinet. It's some two weeks since we set sail from Japan. Have you really been living in that wardrobe the entire time, Naruhodo-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. I, I, I was stuck there. 
Oh no, I suppose not. Although it must have been rather exciting making this vo voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I never knew. I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I did basically have to leave in the wardrobe, and last night was no exception. But because of that, you have no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. Yeah, I was. I don't know. I was in calm. I was in deep sleep. I was too tired. <laughs> I was too tired, man. Da -da -da. No, sadly not. Da -da -da. Okay, I checked this already. I checked this already. I could. I checked this already. Maybe the lamp. Anything else I need to check here? Oh, the door. I could check the door, but I can navigate there first, I guess. Let's just check the door. When I went for help and the crewman forced the door open. Okay. This boat has been firmly closed. Hmm, it's quite a small boat and not particularly sturdy. And it's just slide across to secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there wouldn't be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. It's no wonder everyone suspects me. When she when she glares at me like that, I feel tense up or tense all up and down my spine. I, I remember reading once in a detective novel. The copper used a needle and tried to draw a boat across from the outside room in a situation like this. Use a needle and tread to draw a boat across from the outside the room in a situation like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective story myself. Okay, detective Dino is never wrong now. <laughs> But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal and they sealed together perfectly. But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal and they sealed together perfectly. There would be no possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. Okay, okay. When she glares at me like that, I feel pins and needle all out. Okay, this is the same thing again. Okay. Perhaps I should see what this Russian crewman make makes of the scene of the crime. Um, excuse me. What? I I was wondering how it's going. The investigation. I mean, I, aren't I investigating? Dot dot dot. He know nothing. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but it's not true, I see. I mean, it's a genuine question, man. <laughs> no, sorry. The criminal, the criminal asking investigator for information about his crime. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. It's very funny indeed, yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He is convinced you are guilty. Okay. He might have useful information though. I have to keep trying. So last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? No, no, no. Nay. Of course not. Now go back to the corner of the room and make silence. I say no more to you. Niat or nay? Is it niat or nay? Nay is German, I think. Niat. Hmm. Did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there. He seems to be a little bit flush flustered. Ah, uh, flustered. Justice, Seigi. The Japanese word for justice. The broad stroke are straight and true, just like Kazuma. Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Yet you, can you really look at those characters without feeling shame? Knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Of course I can. I mean, I'm innocent so why shouldn't I be able to? <laughs> I'm innocent! Even though you stole away on this... Stole away on this shit, I mean... 
It was Kazuma's idea, man. The fuck? I wasn't supposed to be here. It wasn't my idea. Fucking hell. No. no. Now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't... Win. God damn it. This. Okay. Wardrobe. There's nothing on this table at all. The plates and cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still... No, wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I, I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. I got drunk? Oh no, oh shit, I got drunk. That's funny. Okay. okay da, da, da. I got drunk? So so then perhaps you are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-san? Um, uh, I mean, maybe I'm drunk and I kill him in 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 acid. I guess I'm uh, probably I don't know, man. Now you know, now they <laughs> now they even think about it. <laughs> if real Suki gonna say shit like this, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> seems sus. No, no, real Suki seems sus. Holy shit, that was bad. Okay. Converse. Let's just talk to the great detective. Great detective. So you are a great detective, are you? Sorry. What was your name again? It's Shrooms. Shrooms. It was Shrooms. Indeed, I am none other than the one and only a lot Shrooms. Oh, I see. You are German? A lot, was it? No, no. I have no her. I mean, I, I mean, I have hair. Press call me shrooms. Please call me shrooms. Shrooms. You can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh yes, Rants magazine, full of one, full of wonderful short stories and interest, interest article from Great Britain. I never miss an issue. I have it. I have it sent from England, especially. Damn, she's a rich. People. Yeah. Ah, yes, here is it. Here it is. The Adventure of Olok Shrooms. So, you are the protagonist in the in a series of short stories, then. Yeah, I am. And you read so many of your own stories. You started to think you are really, you really are a detective? Just have his own story and then become a detective? That's... That's... Really? Makes no mis make no mistakes. I'm not the poor di deluded fel fellow you take me off for, okay? Your in inference is backwards. Backwards? My trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them chronicle them in the magazine. Okay, okay. You have a biographer, do you? Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson. Presently keeping shop in London. Dr. Wilson? Wilson? <laughs> a lock shrooms, a lock homes. Yeah, it is backwards. That's backwards the first first name, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must say, thanks to that publication, I have been fast, fantastically busy of late. Is your... Okay, I don't understand what that is. Why, this is very... This very moment, I am returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this mess seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning in its purest form. A science? Really? The astral observer noticed even the most sub 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 of reaction in his subject, okay? I a furtive glaze, a twitch of a muscle, a slight incl inclination of the posture, fingernails, arm sleeve, furrows in the skin. All these things are data. Right, yeah, right, yeah, that's true. That's okay. And the chain logician makes deduction from this data in the blink of an eye. 
the ultimate conclusion is without fail the truth as i demonstrated only a few short moments ago how can it look me in the eye and claim that so you see i have a turn i have so you see i have a turn both for observation and for deduction and fame I have a turn bow for observation and for deduction and fame. Okay, okay, I guess, okay. This is what makes me the one and only. No, her, no. Herlock, Herlock Shrooms, isn't it Herlock? Yeah, it's correct, right? Herlock Shrooms, right? Okay. Kazuma's death, yeah. Let's talk about this. Have you managed to deduct anything from about this particular case yet? Have I managed to deduct anything? My dear fellow. Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in his most cunning hiding place? That's right. It's a me. <laughs> it's me, it's rooms. <laughs> it's a him, it's rooms, actually. It was none other than the great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Shrooms. Ah, I see. In other words, he put me in chain. God fucking damn it. <laughs> I mean, this is not because of him. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. When I become anxious about Kazuma sama this morning, I summon all of the crew members to force the cabin door open, okay. And I consume myself among their numbers, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Just like that. He walk in, he walks straight in. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective Herlock Shrooms was on board. And the handcuff seems to be an excellent fit, Mr. Naruhodo. Fucking hell. <laughs> I think I think I have some luck with chains, I guess. This, this or, or being almost being locked up, I guess. <laughs> the very moment I lay eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh really? Two facts, you say? Two facts. What's the two facts? Mr. Shrooms, tell me, tell us please. What two facts were apparent to you when you came into this cabin this morning? Ah uh, yes, but first, let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand. But what were they? Allow me to elu el elucidate. Elucidate? Elucidate? The two facts that I deducted from a mere momentary glaze at the scene of the crime were as follow. Number one, the cabin was locked from within. Rendering escape of the culprit out of the question. Okay, that's that's okay. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with a acquaintance. The victim was a Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Did he not see the body? Wait, why? Because from the words, but where didn't he soon he saw the body first? If we are so sure that Kazuma is dead, I guess. Okay. Hold on, Mr. Shroom. What make you think the victim was Russian? Yeah. Observe the dying observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. This is the Russian word for wardrobe. Okay. Do, do you really think Kazuma-sama could have left a dying message in Russian? In their final moments, many many find their native tongue filling their head for this young man Russian. This Is this another test? <laughs> Kazuma was Russian, was he? What the fuck? Even, even what, why are you questioning yourself? What the fuck? Initially, I considered Gargerop may be the name of the killer. A certain Grobert god, perhaps. But in the interest of tr throughoutness, I decided it was it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there, Alice. Where you found Mr. Noruhodo sleeping soundly here. Quite so, I found you. The renowned Russian revolutionary killer. The renowned Russian revolutionary killer. 
Why is it that I'm Russian too? <laughs> I would love that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquaint acquainted, okay? And if my memory served me, the outfit is the traditional dress of the Russian people. Yes, of course. Our school uniform are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I, I had no idea. Oh my god. Holy shit, my mind, man. My mind just blown again. Holy shit. I had no idea a detective could get something so wrong. <laughs> but okay, okay, February didn't know much, I guess. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. I took a photograph of the victim and the message that I might analyze it, analyze it for possible hidden details. This... This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered before the body was removed. Yeah, he basically saw the body, okay. Okay. Yes, Kazuma had already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I have actually seen him like this. Dead. Yeah, of course, it gotta be the first time. And the last <laughs> time. <laughs> what the hell? What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you alright, Mr. Naruto? Oh, uh, um, yes. Thank you. The photograph of the crime scene has been entered into the court record. Okay. It will appear to have been written in the victim's final moment. Can I ask you something, Mr. Shrooms? What? Pray? You mentioned Russian before as well, didn't you? You know, when you say I was a fearsome revolution revolutionary fleeing from Lush Russian and all of that? Ah yes, the train of reasoning that lead me to the truth. <laughs> Would you mind explaining that the train of reasoning to me? Do you think... Oh, okay, I don't know what that is, certainly. If it interests you. How many times I'm not Russians and I don't speak Russians? Okay. The deduction just now. Um, can we talk about your deduction before? The things you concluded about me, I mean. Ah, the now famously accurate troubling predicament you find yourself in? Actually, it was the other details that I was more hoping to discuss. You know the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of 16 part? Okay. Ah yes, the more sordid details, it was very a very commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper, the main headline street. Evolutionary, revolutionary villain Bolshevik beats Russia via Shanghai. I mean, I don't. We don't look alike, man. <laughs> this vessel make a port call at Shanghai yesterday, and last night the young Russian man, the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Kazuma a Russian? Okay. It sounds like Mr. Trum has concluded that he was Russian because of what Kazuma-sama wrote on the floor. Okay. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. Ones who would kill the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you. Villain brought sick week. Oh my god, if only I had a beard like that, man. Holy shit. <laughs> if only I, mean, I could... If only Russian... Uh, you know, not Russian. If only Asian can grow a beard like that, man. Holy shit. <laughs> no, no, no. How could it be me? I don't look anything like this, man. Just look at his face. Well, you are a fearsome revolutionary after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize. Your parents as well. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. God damn. Okay. <laughs> uh, please. <laughs> and I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? I mean, well, he's not wrong, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I am Russian. <laughs> Maybe I'm Russian. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm Russian now. I don't know. Sukabliat. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, that's because I am a stowaway. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't tell him that, I guess. <laughs> what about the other details? The 16 victim of assassination and blowing up the crystal tower. Oh, uh, yes. The journalist clearly interviewed the man and print all those particulars in the article. The this the man have perpetrated this far and those he is plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Do, do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? And what about the part where you said I was just returning from Afghanistan? Also correctly stated here in the article, Bolshevik is recently returned after a period of subversive activity in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. So he is for, he returned from Afghanistan. How do he take the port from Shanghai? I'm I'm I'm. There's too much information now. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of blur out actually. <laughs> Where even is it anyway? It's Afghanistan's place. Here, take the paper for yourself as a little memento for of this great deduction. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. I observe. I have observed all that is of interest to me within these pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. The article about the revolutionary has been entered into the cow report. And you may find the article at the on the back page of interest as well. On the back. Cast your eye over it, something if the interest takes you. Though you may need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture or two. Okay. What were you where what were what you were just investigating? Before we stayed, started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma? Ah, yes. The victim. Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Observe for a moment the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim uh, was engaged in penning some text. Okay, he was writing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> London Diary, Kazuma was keeping notes of the trip, yes, yeah, that's true. Uh, but... I don't think you should read his private writing, I it could upset people. It's something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of the reading. You, you mean you are reading it already? You have read it already? It, it is my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, we're about to know what a Susato takedown is. She's not gonna take down her, okay? She's gonna, not gonna do anything. She's just gonna shut, shut her up. And then, yeah, you see? God damn it. She's a fan. <laughs> Sato san, aren't you going to throw the detective with one of you trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, Naruto san. What on earth do you mean? Fucking hell. <laughs> Life is so unfair. God damn it. Anyway, to return to the matter at hand, namely this diary belonging to the victim. It will appear the final sentence is incomplete, as if the author were cut short. Yeah, yeah, we know that as well. Yeah, we know that as well. Tell me what is the nature of the writing? Pray be precise as to detail. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese. A smattering, dear boy, a smattering. <laughs> you won't know any. Sayonara, bonsai, mi mikado, nado, nado. <laughs> what nado, nado mean? I know bonsai and sa 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 sayonara, I guess. I trust you're s suitably impressed. Yes, I am. I don't know what mikado and nado, nado is. Yeah, holy shit, that's crazy. <laughs> oh. But this area is later with complicated looking characters of which I can read precisely. Anon. 
Uh huh. So what was all that showing off about before then? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> if you would be so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it to you, Mr. Shrooms. I'm, I'm much obligate, my dear madam. The final entry here is Kazuma Sama's. In Kazuma Sama's diary, consists of just two short sentences. The first three. 1.22 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. Whistling sound. Whistling sound. A whistling, whistling sound. Hmm. These are very deep waters. Pray go on. Second sentence reads. 1.35 a.m. Dot, that what looked what looked like some sort of Van is dangling from the ventilator grill. Some sort of speckled van. What? What on earth does that mean? Yeah, I, I, yeah, sure. Man. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. I've never heard that expression before. The ventilator grill, you say? The man was presumably before. Yeah, last on the last try, I did say someone could like, climb over from this, this, like ventilation thing. So to the like this, there's on the wall which connect to the adjoining cabin. Yeah, this is might be another entry. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Kazuma's diary has been entered into the court record. Was skipping off his trip to London, according to the last entry he made before his death, he spied. What appeared to be a speckled band. Okay. That's all that we could talk with Shroom. So I believe I have given you enough to consider for the time being at least. Ah, do you have somewhere to go? And as it happens, the victim's writing in his diary has procured my interest. He's going to check the the, the the other room then. The matter warrants further investigations. I believe, and if I'm still too long, the seasickness takes hold. Oh, I suppose. You are thinking of investiga investigating the cabin next door, which the ventilator connects to. Great detectives are a curious breed. Our minds rebel at stagnation. We crave mental exal. Oh my god, exal exaltation. So yes, I intend to investigate. Hence, the truth will become clear soon enough. Okay. You think perhaps that we could go with you? I mean, I don't think I could. I guess because I'm 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 I'm, I'm tied up. I'm I chained up right now. <laughs> no, that would be somewhat complicated. God damn it. What? But why? A simple glance at your wrist should reveal the answer. Yeah, I was chained. <laughs> I'm chained. Oh, this. <laughs> After all, you are the prime suspect in this matter. No. There's no point trying to turn it into a question. You are the one that decided I was the culprit in the first place. Whatever do you mean? I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. Oh, okay. Okay. Then why am I in chain then? I mean, what what the fuck am I in chain? You must be joking. You you just said it only a moment ago. Yeah, you said I was Russian guy. You know, kill other Russian. Yada yada yada, something like that. Yeah. Dear me, you are clearly misguided. I will have no cause to say such a thing. Well, actually, Miss Mister Shrooms, I did hear you say that too. <laughs> Uh, shrooms. Uh, you're quite sure? Well, that's very strange. I wouldn't have said you had the face of a culprit. A criminal. You know, not really. Then why am I in change? What? So what were you looking at my knees before? I'm a great detective you are. Well, anyway, that was then, and this is now. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay, at least at least I'm not the prime suspect now, I guess. This I guess. Uh not too sure no. I I am I'm, I'm still a sub suspect. I'm not I'm just not a criminal, I guess. I'm still a suspect, I guess. What do you mean? What I mean, sir, is this. If you are the culprit, then you must play the part more convinc convincingly. Roll over and accept your fate. Oh shit. Now he's just being plain rude. <laughs> okay. And off he goes, having just laughed in my, my face, his sense of humor as twisted as, twist as his name. And roll the sun. Why are you just standing there for? Hmm? We must go and investigate the cabin next door as well. Aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> what about this? There's no way I can... Is he gonna troll me again? What the fuck? What's trolling me gotta do? <laughs> After Kazuma-sama spent his dying moments struggling to leave us a clue, you are willing to give up? God damn it. You're just going to roll over and accept your fate. I mean, I mean, I'm chained up. What the fuck can I do now? <laughs> Um, as if you gave me an, uh, any choice in the rolling over part. <laughs> Why well, I get throw again? What? Why? <laughs> but I get throw again. I think we still have some investigation to finish off in here first, don't we? Let's carry on examine what we can in this cabin while we wait for another, a chance to sleep in the next door. Good idea. The situation doesn't look good for me. But there are still things I can do to help myself. And I owe it to Kazuma to do everything I can to find a way out of this and bring the real copy to justice. Is that? Is something wrong, Naruhodasa? Oh no, it's just that crew man standing by the door. It looked like the detective, but no, it's, it is the detective from, from, the, from the first case. God damn it. I can't help feeling like I've seen him somewhere be here, somewhere before. There it is. Oh yes, you are right. He does look familiar. Excuse me, sir. He is, he is. He's gonna cough blood again, Andy. Yes. What can I do for you? I recognize that face, but but it can't be. He's he's a cruise mate now. Um. Uh, um. It is. I I didn't know you were here, Inspector Hosonaga. Hello again. What are you doing here? I think that should be my line. I was just stunned. I was so stunned that when I saw you, my heart stopped. <laughs> yeah, it's me again. Yeah, I am. I am again the suspect. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, it's, it's me again. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. You know, it's me, you know, uh, Naruto san, yeah, it's not you, bro. <laughs> I just can't seem to get me, can't stop getting me in chains, man. God fucking damn it. Get me near a jail or get being a suspect of being put to jail or locked up and stuff. Okay, nearly stopped, I hope. I received some special order to go undercover as a member of the crew and board this ship. Again? You certainly seems to enjoy undercover work, Inspector. If there's anything I can do to help you, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board. Or perhaps his presence can help me out this time of this hopeless situation. Yeah, he is the perfect inspector that tried to that steal all the evidence and stuff. Okay. I can conv I can talk to him first. Special orders. So what are your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed as a member of the crew? Da -da -da. I'm so sorry. Hmm? This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. What happened again? What is this again? Uh, okay, for, for what? My order were to shut the fuck up. Okay, okay. To act as Asogi san's bodyguard. Asogi san, who's Asogi san? Susato. Oh, yes. Was Minister of Justice the Goku who pushed for this overseas study tour to go ahead? 
and it trusts me to ensuring that Asogi's son reaches Britain without being assassinated. What's Asogi's son again? Being without being assassinated, assassinated. How how could that even have been a possibility? I'm not sure. But there are complicated times. There are tension between the world's greatest power. Mr. Jigoku said we should be prepared for all eventually. It's incredible. I don't believe it. Kazuma-sama was assassinated? Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we kind of kind of guess that, I guess. Obviously, we couldn't give Asogi san a visible security escort. I'm thinking, uh, Kazuma's full name is Kazuma Asogi, I think. <laughs> I already forget. Uh huh. Okay, which is why I am the I'm the cover now, posing as one of the crew. Okay, okay, I see. Okay. Are you fair at your job, man? He's dead now. And I didn't take my eye off him the entire time we were on board. We've been on board from the morning until night. Every day. Wow, he, he did, man. He did now. But I never imagined it would happen here, inside his own cabin. Not here on the first class deck. Well done. I have felt miserably as my, at my... Assignment and Asogi san is dead as a result. I'm a disgrace. I mean, I mean all I do can do is humbly apologize. I mean, uh, I mean, the first case you was a lot of problems as well, I guess. <laughs> there was a lot of problems. The second time, there was almost the same thing, Inspector. So, if there anything that at all that I can do to help now, just say the word. Okay, permission to investigate. We are doing what we can to investigate Kazuma's death ourselves. I thought you might be. You didn't do it, did you? You are not the killer? Of course not. We did really like to investigate the cabin next door. Yes, so we need to be allowed out of this cabin. I'm sorry. What? You've been deemed a risk to the ship's safety. If you move to even touch the handle of the cabin door, the Russian man would kill me. The stormy looking seaman that would surely snap your neck in two hours. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. Can we just go through the ventilator? <laughs> Ventilation? <laughs> there, there is a way, I guess. There is a way. I suppose it's not just a stowaway. I'm not just a stowaway, no. They think I'm a murderer as so. well. Yeah. Da -da -da. Would it be possible? To give me something to work with, do you think? I'm going to need something pers persuasive. What do you mean? If I had a solid reason why the next door cabin should be investigated, for example, I did do everything I could to persuade the captain to allow it, really. I did, I did lay my life on the line if I had to. But I don't see how. There, are many, there may be a way. What? Really? Think of how you tried to persuade me of your innocent Naruto son. I mean, I got thrown. Okay, you troll me. By pres presenting me with a piece of evidence that you already had in your possessions. Evidence? Yeah, it's just the same as when you're in court. You must have done it many times during your trial. Simply select the present panel and choose some evidence. That Inspector Hosonaga could use. So evidence that would give us a viable reason to investigate the next door cabin, is it? Alright, yes. I I think I might know what we can use. Let's see if I can present the detective with the evidence he needs to persuade the captain. Okay, um yeah, let's check it out. Let's check what I can do with this. Okay, we checked this one before. It's just gonna be glue, rice, the back is rice, and the front is just the... Uh, keep out, I guess. I rem if I remember correctly, it's keep out. Let's check out the picture. 
Bam 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 bam. Okay, there's nothing I can do with the picture. Let's check out the revolutionary, the Russian man, the Russian murderer. I'm afraid I can't read a word of Russian. No, me neither. I have no idea what any of this say. The pair of you floundering is a sorry sight. Allow me to offer some assistance. And he's still here. <laughs> I thought he went to the next door already. The article on the front page of this newspaper is concerned with a fearsome Russian revolutionary. It reads, Revolutionary villain Bolshevik feeds Russia whilst on high. Yes, you told us that before. It was also that those who see the man's beard with their own eyes never live to tell the tales. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. That beard, man. Big ass beard, that is. Oh my goodness. He is fearsome. Well, presumably, the newspaper photographer was alright, wasn't he? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> the solution is obvious, of course. If he despised his beard to that degree, he need only shave it off. Is peace despise us? I think it despise us, right? I'm I'm not quite sure that's the problem, Mr. Shrooms. Shrooms? Shrooms? Okay, let's check out the back. Oh, I could use it on the mouse. Okay, I, I forgot I could use it on the mouse. What's, oh, who's this? Oh, this is the crown, crown, crown case, right? That, that, sure. The, that, Perlock shake say just now. Hmm, this is interesting. Have you found anything, something relevant, Naruhodo Sama? Well, no, I, I meant it looked like it might be interesting. <laughs> I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I, but look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beauty, beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? She is very pretty, isn't she? I suppose you enjoy articles like this, do you? I, I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, uh, I'm glad you noticed this article. Ah? Uh? Okay, allow me to give you a short summary of, it co of its content. Oh, thank you. It pops out everywhere, this Mr. Shrooms. Shrooms. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned Prima Ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappeared from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. Here, of course, the talented young Nikolina Pavlova. Why are Russian name are so hard to remember? It would appear the woman was in costume when she was found to be missing from her dressing room. Okay. Wearing the diamond tiara you see pictured, which is worth some... 20,000 rubles. Oh, how much is 20,000 rubles? I have no idea, uh, but I'm quite sure. It must be an unbelievable sum of money. <laughs> the other sun's eyes are shining like diamonds themselves. The tiara is the property of Novavik Ballet. It would seem the director is beside her with worry. Yes, I'm not surprised. The company is most anxious to recover both Mr. Miss Pavlova and the valuable tiara. They requested international assistance at all port with selling to Great Britain. Would this be another case of a Russian filling his or her country? Yeah, probably. It does seem to be a Ru to be Russian Russian thing to do. <laughs> Running away. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with a response, Mr. Naruhodo. The article about the ballerina has been entered into the court. Report. Okay. Okay, sure, sure. Anything else that I need to know? Sure. Sure, it doesn't really make any sense for me for now. Let's go back. Okay, let's check the diary. I have a faint whistling sound. Seems someone spark up and dangling and like a girl. Okay. Oh, this is oh, this is just the second page then. Okay, it's the same thing. Okay. Why the net? Why the magnifying glass for the girl then? What? 
Okay, I think the only thing I can give it to the inspector is just diary, ain't it? It's just say it because there's something daggling from the ventilator. So I think this is the only thing I can present to him. Right. Can I? Can I? Oh, oh, I have to click on the present button? Yeah. Can I move now? Oh, I can just roll over and accept my fate. I have to find a way out of this cabin. If I'm going to turn this desperate situation around somehow, then the inspector in front of me is my only chance. Oh, okay. So I just present this. Oh. This is evidence. What's that? It's Kazuma's diary. Just before he died, Kazuma Sama wrote something rather strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? He wrote, What looks what looks like some kind of spect speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill? A speckled band? That is strange. Yes, we are still trying to work out what he meant by that. But what I did like to know is... Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? Yes. Yes, you're smart, inspector. You're smart. <laughs> you're very... astute, inspector. Yes. That ventilator clearly joined to the next door cabin. That's right. So if we could investigate in there, we might be able to work out what the speckled band was. Alright then. I can leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain have given me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime you see. I will have to entrust the investigation to you, so he's just gonna stay here and I can go there now. Yes, really, you are willing to do that? Yes, as long as you don't leave the first class cabin area, I'm afraid I'm afraid I can remove those handcuffs. Though. Okay, but what about the captain? Aren't you going to against? Aren't you going against his direct order? I mean, he's an undercover man. He, I, I I suppose he could don't care. I guess. <laughs> I'm a man of my words. And I promise you that I'll I'll lay my life on the line if there is if that's what it takes to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep Asogi unsafe. This is the least I could do. Thank you. Okay. Let's seize the moment then. Arohodasama. Let's select move and then we can leave this cabin and last move. Alright. Let's see what we can find out. Let's go, let's go.